Good morning, ESM. Hey, Uncle Richie here. It's Fist Pump Friday. Yes, we made it. We want to recognize people that show pride. That's professionalism, respect, involvement, diversity, and excellence. Okay, have a great weekend. Make that money jiggle, jiggle, not fold. Okay, I know, I just destroyed it. Here we go. Uh, fist pumps to Britt Johnson from Jazzy Kenyon. Woo! We got Amelia Cooper from Morgan Purcell. Woo! We got Tataro West from Miss Carucci. Woo! We got Arabella Allo from Miss Carucci. Woo! We got Tarek Boric from Miss Ramson. Woo! We got Olive Rutledge from Morgan Feindler. Yes! We got Taylor Hoffman from Miss Carucci. Woo! We got Molly Comstock from Miss Carucci. Woo! And we got Micaia Carroll from Miss Lorenzo. Woo! We also got some teachers to recognize. We got Nicole Alexander, Joe Mussolino, and Kara Tarson. All right, and then we got Spartan of the Quarter winners. From ninth grade, we got Erin Moraine. Woo! We got 10th grade, we got Olivia Legro. Woo! 11th grade, Sarah Stadelman. Woo! 12th grade, Nate Moran. Woo! Congratulations to Lori Fingar, our latest Spartan Trophy winner. Have a great weekend. Richie loves you. Good morning, ESM. I'm Josh. And I'm Katie. Today we'll be showing you the capstone project by Ethan Moan. More on this after news in a month. What? Delaware officials are calling for an investigation into allegations of racial profiling, profiling after Georgia deputies conducted a drug search of a bus transpor transporting female st student athletes at a historically black university. The Delaware State University's women's lacrosse team was returning home from a game in April in Florida when officers pulled the bus over for an alleged traffic violation. They then proceeded to conduct a drug search of the team's bags and the luggage racks beneath the bus, including the use of a canine as video and body cam video vi footage shows. The incident came to light after one of the players wrote about the search in the school's newspaper and another posted a video of the incident. A body was found on the shoreline of Blind Soda Bay on Thursday. The body was in the water for a long period of time, but the person has not yet been, been identified. The body was taken for an autopsy at Monroe County Medical Examiner's Office. Anyone with inf information should call 585-398-4100. Memory loss has been reversed in mice by injecting them with a brain liquid from younger peers in a groundbreaking new treatment. The substance called cere cerebrospinal fluid washes in and out of gray and white matter in waves, helping clear out waste. It bathes the tissue with proteins or growth factors that are vital for normal development. Using a tiny tube and pump, CSF from young adult mice was infused into the brains of 18 years. 18 month year old 18 month old animals equivalent to about 60 in human years or seven days scans showed it boosted production of myelin a fatty sh sheath that protects neurons from damage please stand for the pledge of allegiance i pledge allegiance to the flag of the united states of america and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Graduating Senior National Honor Society member, orders are now being taken for your graduation stoles. Please see Moose or Classroom for more information. Deadline is to order Friday, May 20th. If you are interested in running for student council or class council, then please pick up an information packet in the library near the circulation desk or in the large cafeteria on the desk under the projector screen. You can also request information parrot digitally by sending an email to Mr. Hart. His email is rhart at esmschools.org. Packets are due by May 26. Any questions, please reach out to Mr. Hart. The skateboarding community is here. ESM needs your help. Skaters around Manoa and East Syracuse are on a mission to sign a pension to build a skate park for the public youth. The community is hoping for 500 signatures to raise awareness to the public village office. 
to at least take into consideration. If you'd like to help out, you can scan the QR code on the screen now to sign. If you have any questions, contact Sophia Conti. There will be a mandatory informational meeting for anyone interested in trying out for boys JV or varsity volleyball on Tuesday, May 17th in room D8, beginning promptly at 3.30. Please see Coach Ribzak with any questions. The Capstone Experience is a full year course that allows students to choose and research the topic they find compelling and possibly relevant to their post high school plans after completing an early unit on writing and revising their personal statements for college admissions essays. I'm here with Ethan Moan, and Ethan's a part of the Capstone Experience, so could you like explain that for us? Of course. Um, the Capstone Experience is a class um, held, um, held by Ms. Hillawa in, B, in B39, and it's a class that allows a student to cultivate and research a topic about an interest of theirs. Mine was personal products and how personal care products affect the human body. Okay, so could you explain like what the personal products are? Okay, so personal products are any consumable item um, that's meant to be put on your skin um, in order to um, create a desired effect. So like a moisturizer is supposed to keep your skin hydrated, makeup is supposed to cover up blemishes, that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, are there negative effects? Well, there are a few negative effects. Um, for starters, uh, much, like, uh, much like what people learn about in health class, uh, body products can diffuse through the skin. Um, that diffusion can affect the endocrine system, which affects how our body regulates itself. And it, um, it, and it, and it can affect the nervous system, which is how our body responds to things. Um, are there any like alternatives to the current products on the market? Well, some, al some alternatives are kind of hard to find because several brands lie about what their products have on the market. Um, some may say natural, but it, it literally contains not a lick of natural products. Yeah. And it's very deceptive. Uh, what are some of the benefits of using natural products, and do you use them yourself? So I do use natural products myself. I started back in December, and some of the benefits that I've noticed for myself is I've had a lot better of a mood. I've had a lot better time focusing and kind of... going to be partly cloudy with record high temperatures expected and tomorrow is going to be partly cloudy with a 41 percent chance of rain and a possible thunderstorm today we have a high of 83 degrees and a low of 62 degrees tomorrow we have a high of 81 degrees and a low of 61 degrees I'm Nicole, joined by Noah, and Noah, could you tell us like why you started Noah's Care Bags? So I started Noah's Care Bags because I've been in the hospital a lot as a kid, and I've seen firsthand the struggles that parents go through when they're not expecting an overnight stay. So I wanted to do something to help them. Uh, what's in Noah's Care Bags? Noah's Care Bags collects travel-sized toiletries like soap, conditioner, shampoo, lotion, toothpaste and a toothbrush and we also put a candy bar and a positive note in there and that's so that the parents have everything that they need to take care of themselves as well as have something to eat and the positive note is to remind them that they're not alone. Uh, is there anything the school can do to help? Yes the Spartan Junior Honor Society is doing a toiletry drive so please make sure to bring in your extra toiletries and we also take monetary donations. All right, thank you. Thank you. Softball beat Oswego 
Uh, six to zero live golf, pitched a seven inning shutout with 17 strikeouts and now has exceeded 100 strikeouts for the season. Boys lacrosse team beat Central Square four to 16. Evan DeBurgess scored six goals. Jackson Palin scored four goals. Logan Welch had two goals and Trey Jones and Dylan Abreu both had one goal. Unified basketball team picked up a big win over Cortland, 63 to 28. Nate Moran, Lauren, Hennessy, and Bryce Rowe each scored 10 points to contribute to the win. Girls Golf has a match at home for an Invitational at 3.30. Boys and Girls Track have a meet at Baldwinville for an Invitational at 4.30. Baseball plays at home against Auburn at 5.15. Tomorrow's, tomorrow baseball plays at home at RFA at 11. Girls Lacrosse plays at home against Homer at 11.45. Boys Lacrosse plays at CNS at 12. Everyone else at the morning show, have a great day.